Today I will be demonstrating for you how to build a freshman exploratory plaque in a carpet chain cabinet making shop. I chose to create to demonstrate this plaque because it shows how our shop is different from all the others. You don't leave with the same thing as everyone else in your group, but rather something that is personalized and meaningful to you. Something that when you leave the shop, you can have pride in for making it. There are many steps to creating a freshman exploratory plaque. To begin, you will need to program your design into a CNC and save it on the computer. Then you need to take a few Take a piece of rough stock and bring it to a table saw where you will square one end and then cut it to length at 14 inches. The next step is to then sand the faces. To do this, you need a sanding block and a piece of sandpaper, beginning at 80 gray and moving up to 100, 120, and then eventually 150 to make the face as smooth as possible. When sanding, you must remember to always sand with the grain of the wood and not go against it. Once you have finished sanding the faces, you will then be able to put your plaque into the CNC and have your design engraved. But before, but before doing that, you must remember to check and adjust the depth of the scribing bit before you begin the engraving. Once you have finished on the CNC, the next step will be to create a Roman OG profile on the, your plat. To do this, you can use either a handheld router or a router table. For the demonstration, I'll be using a handheld router. When routing, you must remember to always start on the end grain of the board and then move on to the edges so that when you come back around, you will not chip the corner. Once you have finished routing, you will then need to sand the profile. To do this, you will take a piece of sandpaper and wrap it around the pencil. You will then use the pencil to match the grooves you made, with the, you made for the profile. Once you have finished this, you will then need to turn over your plaque to create a keyhole in the center of the bottom of the face. To do this, you will need a jig and a smaller handheld router. You will first place your jig in the center of the plaque, then take your router, place it into the jig, and route starting from the top and going down. Once you have finished this, the next step is to then sand the bottom face and the inside of the keyhole, again using all four grits of sandpaper. Then you will need to turn your plaque over and sand the inside of the engraver, making sure not to chip any of the wood. Once you have finished this, you will then be able to paint the inside of your engraver and the profile, whatever colors you have chosen. Then for the last step, you will need to, you will need to sand the top base of your board to remove any of the excess paint. For a quick recap, you need to program the CNC. Cut, square, and finish the length. Cut the detailed engraving on the CNC. Route the outside edge of the profile. Route the keyhole. And paint the plaque. And you should end with a personalized finished plaque. This demonstration not only shows how, it, how to build a freshman exploratory plaque, but also teaches you some very simple yet much used skills that you can apply throughout your life. Thank you. That was, this concludes my demonstration.